Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to be talking about the rosary. The rosary is a special prayer that is said on beads and it tells us the life of Jesus and his mother Mary. In the last video, May the month of Mary, we started to speak about how to pray the rosary. But in these upcoming videos I'm going to be explaining in a little bit more detail the stories you can learn from the rosary so it's a bit more detailed okay so as a quick recap from the last video i'm going to show you my rosary beads and you can see here we have 10 beads a bead on its own in the middle hopefully you can see that and then a further 10 beads now hopefully you remember on the 10 beads we say the hell mary for each one and then there's a bead on its own and then another 10 Hail Marys, okay? Now in these upcoming videos, we're going to be focusing on the bead that's on its own because they actually tell us special stories, okay? There's one, let's see how many we can count. Two, hopefully you can see the bead in the middle. Three. There it is, and four. So there are four of these beads that go in between the ten, the ten Hail Marys. So we call that a decade. Okay. Now these beads on their own actually have a special name for them. Does anyone know what these names are called? They're actually called mysteries. Why are they called mysteries? You might be wondering. Well. They're mysteries because each one gives us lots and lots to think about and no one can understand them completely. And they each have names. So the first mystery that we pray is called Joyful Mysteries. Then we have Luminous Mysteries, Sorrowful Mysteries and the final one is called the Glorious Mysteries. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on the very first one. The first one, as you hopefully you can remember, is the joyful mysteries. In this story, in this bead, um, we talk about happy stories about the birth of Jesus and the time when he was a little boy. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. The angel Gabriel tells Mary she's going to have a baby. Hail, full of grace, the angel greets her. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. What surprising and happy news. I'm glad that Mary said yes to God's plan. Mary, help me to say yes to God too. The second joyful mystery is the visitation. Mary visits her cousin Elizabeth, who is also going to have a baby. Before Mary can tell her cousin the good news about the baby growing in her tummy, Elizabeth cries out joyfully, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. The third joyful mystery is, can you guess what it is? It's of course the nativity, the birth of baby Jesus. Mary wraps her newborn son in a little blanket and lays him in a manger because there is no room for her for them in the inn. The shepherds are in the field that night an angel appears to them and says, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. Mary, Joseph and the shepherds all adored baby Jesus. Mary Teach me to adore Jesus too. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation. Mary and Joseph bring baby Jesus to the temple to present him to the Lord. 
An old man named Simeon is in the temple. He has waited all his life for a saviour to be born for his people. And when he sees baby Jesus, he is full of joy. He praises God saying, my eyes have seen your salvation. Simeon also knows that Jesus and his mother will suffer. And he tells this to Mary. Mary is sad to hear this news, but she trusts God. How do I feel when I hear upsetting news? The fifth joyful mystery is the finding in the temple. When Jesus is about 12 years old, he gets separated from his parents for three days in the big city of Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph search everywhere. Finally, they find him in the temple. People are sitting all around him, listening to him talk about God. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. Mary and Joseph were joyful to have found their son. Mary, help me to stay close to Jesus always. So we have just heard the first mysteries, the joyful mysteries, and there were five stories that we have just listened to. They were, of course, the Annunciation, the Visitation, the Nativity, the Presentation, and the Finding in the Temple. So the Rosary really helps us get to know Jesus a little bit better with his mother, Mary. I really hope you have enjoyed today's video. In tomorrow's video, we're going to be speaking about the next mystery, so the next bead that's on its own, and that is called the Luminous Mysteries and the stories that come with that. Thank you, have a lovely day, bye-bye.